<laughs> Ooh. That's the noise my stomach's making. Then I think about it, Gary. Well, finally, welcome to Ald Bar Chapel outside Brecon. This is some place I've been trying to get to for quite some time. This is my third attempt to get here, and there's no overgrown weeds, there's no hogweed here. The last two times I was here, the hogweed was like six foot tall, couldn't get anywhere near it. So I'm quite excited about this. I've never been here before, in amongst it all. So, and this behind me just looks beautiful, it's like straight out of Outlander or something like that. It's, it's just stunning the way the ivy is growing over the over the stonework, and then you've got all these little gravestones placed here and there. It's just quite a bonny place, and then you've got the the river running through, s bending down. It's just tranquil. It's in a wee kind of den. I'm hoping there's more as if, as I go on. The path kind of goes on, carries on up the den. So fingers crossed. But I'm quite excited about this. And it's just a totally bizarre place. It's it's weird. Hidden away, you wouldn't know you wouldn't know of it if you didn't know of it, if you know what I mean, because it's that hidden away. If that makes sense. You wouldn't know of it if you didn't know of it. Yeah, it kinda makes sense. But I'm excited about this. Heaps of photographic opportunities, but I think like a location like this is gonna be really hard to get decent images. Some, something different anyway, something a bit more fancy. I think when you come to close knit locations like this, there's not, there, you're down in a valley, it's kind of, you've got to think more, which pushes you and tests out your uh, photography techniques. I mean, if you're climbing up mountains, you, you're pushing yourself to climb up hills and mountains to get a good view of a la for landscape photography, but it kind of sells itself that, but this kind of photography, this close knit and really having to think and using everything that you can think of. I mean, there's blue bit, uh, snowdrops everywhere and there's just heaps of little things that you can add to your image and then you can layer up your image, but it does test you. It does test you as a photographer and it's exciting in a way, but doing videos on it and having a final product at the end of the video is, is the bit of the test and it's, it's not as easy as you think doing a video and then pressurizing yourself and getting decent images but I mean there's tons of wee nooks and crannies here so I think it's going to be quite a eventful wee trip Right, so I think I've got my composition set up. I've had, a, I've had a good scope about, I've had a wonder about, I had my 50mm lens on to start off with. But because everything's so close knit, the 50mm lens, I wasn't getting enough play. That's okay if I can get a really good foreground element and stand back a bit. But what I'm wanting to do is get 
a few things in and I wanted to open my aperture up a bit so to get everything in focus so now I've set up here with my 28 to 135 lens on my Canon 5D Mark III I am going with this part of the gravestone sitting in front as my foreground element plus all the snowdrops that are kicking about here as well that are just kind of sitting on the left hand side of my image I've got the gravestone just set a wee bit further forward kind of, I wouldn't say it was mid but it is is it mid? no, I wouldn't say it was mid because it's not far from here but there's, there's a heap of gravestones there there's three plus this stump so all that and then the main feature of the chapel in the background plus I've got the light kicking off on the back end there giving my contrast between the dark ivy and the stonework is looking decent in here <coughs> pardon me so I will just tell you what I've got I've got my tri I've got it sitting on my tripod so it's at 1 60th of a second I'm at f8 and ISO 100 and the sun's kind of dancing through the trees at the back there and it's giving me a good a really good image at one sixtieth of a second the church just looks a wee bit too light at the back end there where the sun's hitting it so I'm going to drop that I'm going to expose for the light on the church and I'm going to underexpose everything else because you can pull back everything that's in the shadows when you do your post processing and the way it's looking on here with that patch just sitting off centre I'm liking it so now I'm at 125 f8 and still ISO 100 I've got bluebells, foreground, midground and my subject in the background I think I'm going to be quite happy with this I'm really, I'm really looking forward to this image so I'm going to take a couple I actually like the way that big cross gravestone just stands there it's it's dominant but it's not too dominant if you know what I mean so beautiful very beautiful it's so peaceful should have brought a picnic or something I had a picnic by myself like a wee saddle I'm intrigued to see where this path leads to It's a bit dodgy though, a few holes here and there But I'm sure there's more I'm sure there's more to this place than just the chapel Positive Well, as you can see, <laughs> the path's non-existent. Uh, I'm not really, I'm not really too tr trusting in that, in that rickety bridge there. there. Doesn't seem much holding up. I wouldn't mind going along there, but there's been a bit of a landslide, and I mean, okay, I definitely don't think I would make it across that bridge. I think that bridge would collapse I could see me in the river Definitely Ah, oh, what a nightmare Because that's the kind of thing about going to locations that you've never been to before It's a total surprise Thought I felt rain there 
and my bald head, but yeah, it's a total surprise. I mean, there is a bridge up here, I know it. There is a big bridge up here from the last time, the last couple of times I was here when all this area was overgrown. Big stone built bridge up the top because we went the wrong way to start off with the first time. Ah, bits of snow. Yeah. So, I know there's a big bridge there, but looking at it, all overgrown and a bit of a landslide. Just a bit of a nightmare. God. Damn it. So, what to do now? Think on, think on my feet. Where do I go? What do I do? What do I... What do I think of doing? To go back to the chapel and see if I can get something with an arch. Like I had an idea in the first place, just to get a second image. Forcing myself to make something out of something that I don't really think there's something in. Uh, yeah, we'll go for it. You never know, we might surprise ourselves. It'll be a test because I've already I've already downplayed this bit, this wee arch, because I thought there was too much going on between the arch and the and the chap chapel in the background. But uh now I'm gonna have to work at it. I'm gonna have to work the area back and forward, left and right, compositions, foreground element, 28 to 135 lens on, so I might get a different kind of, well, I will get a different composition than when I had my 50mm lens on because I've got extra, I've got an extra wide lens on my camera now, on the 5D Mark III. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what though, on the way back to the bridge, I think that curry's playing up. I think I'm getting... Whoa. <laughs> disgusting topic, but I think I need a jobby. And although there seems to be plenty of places around here to do a jobby, I've got no bog roll, no toilet roll. I'm a wee bit away from the car. Oh, I'll just say the, I'll just say the head tact, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm sure it'll go away. It's maybe one of those phantom jobbies, can that make you feel like you need a jobby, but you dinner and. When you go and try and do a jobby, you can't do a jobby because you didn't really need a jobby in the first place. It's maybe one of the kind of jobbies. <laughs> Ooh. That's the noise my stomach's making. Then I think about it, Gary. The jobby will go away. Then I think about it. <laughs> That's all we need, eh? Doing a video and I shake myself. <laughs> Now as you can see, I've made it back to the, the bridge and beside the chapel, back to where there's more items to maybe take a take a photo of. Going around that corner there didn't really do me any favours. It was kind of a waste of time really, so. And I've lost a bit of sunlight, which is a bit aggravating. But anyway, as you can see from this bit of footage here, there is something there. It's just getting it. A very tricky location. Very tricky. So if I can't get nothing from back there, what do you do? Do you go closer to the arch? Use the use the stonework as an element in the leaf, in the ivy, and take this shooting through to catch a chapel. Maybe. F8, one hundredth of a second, so I'm going to have to be really steady with my arms. Try and get the top of the arch in. It's a dull image, which we'd have really done with a nice bit of light coming through. One of the most difficult locations I've been to, to try and get a decent image. I mean, I think my first image with the church, with the chapel is really good. But this area, this area is annoying, man. I'm so desperate to get an image here. It's got something, but I just kind of get it, I don't think. So, F8. I could maybe drop that, could I? I could drop that to 3.5. Because that's the lowest this lens will go to. Which will give me 
a wee bit more depth of field maybe. It's definitely giving me more light. I don't want to fall into this river. 250th of a second, I'm stuck. Ooh. Stand a judder there. That's definitely one out the the camera sutra book. Such a tricky little bit. Trying to use this leaf as a foreground element, shooting through to get a church. What I really want to do, if I'm, to get the chapel, but what I really want to do if I'm going to use these leaves and use that arch as a middle, as a middle ground, that door has to be the subject. That fancy wooden door with the big metal gothic looking hinges. That has to be. That has to be it. Just getting it. 320th of a second at 3.5, I think. Oh, cheesy poops. Yeah, I think that might be an image there. I don't know if I've touched something, but my finger's burning. I think it's not like hogweed. Hogweed root. But yeah, I actually quite like that image, and I think that might be a decent image. I think that'll be. Yeah, I mean this 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 bit of this location has been a real uh, a real tough a real tough picture to get to get what I'm thinking in my head. Yeah, it's been really awkward, really difficult, but I've enjoyed trying to figure it out, and I hope my image does it justice. Go to these locations, spend some time, work at it, like what you've seen I've been doing today. I've got two, maybe three, three images that I might have uh, that I've showed you on the way through the photo. So, uh, on the way through the video, that I've really had to work for. And I hope, hopefully get the fruits at the end of it. So this has been Al Bar at Breakin. I'll leave this for now. And thank you for joining, watching, and if you can take the time, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and leave a comment below to, because uh, I'll, I'll always get in touch. I mean, I don't get that many comments, but the ones I do do, the ones I do do, the ones I do get, I will, uh, I do reply. So I will sign off just now and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you later.